But whenever you see lipoedema anywhere in the body, you're dealing with extreme kidney weakness. I know that doctors tend to go straight for treatment, like let's, what surgeries can we do? How can we cosmetically make this better? Um, but that's a treatment-based way of approaching this, as most of what the medical community does is treatment-based. You should probably take a good look at the level of creatinine in your blood work, but the main focus for you would honestly just be getting your kidneys to filter as soon as possible. I say that because lipoedema is, is serious kidney weakness, you're looking at kidney failure if you don't address this now. I would focus on your kidneys with two kidney formulas that are diuretics as well as two kidney formulas that are cleansers and I will start to look at the adrenals as well. Keep in mind that this is obviously always in conjunction with a raw diet, right? A diet that's going to promote circulation, a diet that's going to promote um, getting rid of lymphatic stagnation, lymphatic waste. The next focus for you would be to get yourself to sweat, right? Because your skin is your third kidney. It's your largest eliminative organ. If the kidneys within your body aren't functioning properly, your body's going to need to get the toxemia, the stagnation out somehow, right? So the path of least resistance is more than likely going to be the skin, right? So you want to support your body's efforts to get rid of this toxicity. It doesn't matter if it's lipedema, cancer, tumor, viruses, whatever. It's always lymphatic stagnation. It's just located in different areas of the body. 